All right, so welcome to the last part five uh, part of the tutorial for wall running. The last thing we need to do is implement the camera tilt. So go back to your event graph. And we have these two empty uh, events down here for beginning camera tilt and ending to camera tilt that we need to fill out. So for this, uh, we're going to use a timeline just like this one, but uh, we're going to make a little bit more use of it than that other one. <laughs> so create a new timeline and call it something like update camera tilt timeline. And we're going to need to make a few changes to this. So open this up. We want to add a float track. So click this little button up here. And the name of the track is, it lets me type, the camera roll. So this timeline is going to be returning to us the uh, current roll of the camera that we should be using, or the tilt. Uh, so we, we don't want it to be five seconds. We want it to be about 0.2 seconds, because we want it to happen pretty quick. And we want two uh, keyframes. So right click, add keyframe, right click, add keyframe, doesn't really matter where. Uh, we'll set that right now. So click on the left one, change it to a time of zero and a value of zero. Click on the right one and want to change that to a value or sorry, a time of 0 0.2. So at the end and let's say like 20. So it will rotate 20 degrees or it will, yeah, it will roll 20 degrees. Uh, if you click these two little buttons here, it will kind of format it nicely for you so you can see it all. Uh, and then one thing we should probably do is right click on each one of these and click auto. And that will kind of give it a nice little curve to it to make it look a little bit more natural. All right, so basically it just goes from 0 to 0 0.2. And at 0 0.2, it is at 20. And at 0, it is at 0. So that is the role of our camera. So we can go back to our event graph and hook this up. So when we begin the camera tilt, we want to play. When we end the camera tilt, tilt bleh, we want to reverse. Um, so this is the so each update we want to actually apply this camera roll. So to do that, we're gonna um, we need to modify our control rotation. So we want to get our controller, and we're gonna want to say set control rotation and go ahead and split this so we can uh, edit the pieces individually so we only really care about the roll so the y and the z we want to leave alone so call get control rotation and split this as well and then just hook up the y and the z because we don't we're not actually going to change those we want those to stay the same we only, we're only trying to roll the camera um, move this over here Okay, so that's most of it. The only thing we need to do now is hook up the roll. So it's not quite as simple as just doing that. Uh, it, we're, we need to roll the camera depending on which side of the wall we're running on. So that's pretty straightforward. We just get the wall run side. Uh, we'll do another select. And we will take this value and hook it up. So uh, well, actually, so we're going to take this value and we're going to multiply it by this value. And this value, if we are on the right, is just going to be 1, so no change. But if uh, we're all running on the left side, we want to rotate the other way, so we're going to multiply it by negative 1. I probably did that in like the most confusing way possible, <laughs> but just, hopefully it makes sense now. So all, all we're doing is just flipping this camera roll, depending on which side of the wall we're running on, is, is basically all that's happening. Pretty straightforward. Um, and I think that might be it. Let me run this, make sure. So there we go. Yeah, it looks like that works. And if we do the other side, that works as well. All right, neat. Um, well, thank you for watching the tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Uh, like and subscribe. I might make more tutorials in the future. 
Uh, this is my first one, so hopefully it wasn't horrible. <laughs> but I'd be more than happy to make more tutorials in the future. I do a lot of uh, things like this, and I just don't end up making tutorials for them because I figure nobody cares. But uh, I specifically wanted to make one for this one because it was so difficult for me to figure this out. It took me so long. Um, so if you'd like to see more, just let me know. And I appreciate you watching. Peace.